As masks have fallen away from most faces, tonight a COVID-19 variant is rapidly spreading. Have you heard of XBB? <laughs> XBB, a subvariant of Omicron, now accounts for more than half of all infections in the Northeast, according to the CDC, an alarming surge from just 7% during the same week last month. Nationwide, it accounts for more than 18% of cases. For Brent Miller, who says he often wears a mask, any variant is of concern after what he experienced firsthand. I started out COVID watching my father die on FaceTime um, in May of 2020. I just have never gotten to the point where I say it's perfectly okay, everything can come off. Though the death rate remains low, medical experts say XBB should be on everyone's radar. So it's concerning that it's spreading so fast and becoming dominant, not just in the Northeast, but in the next few weeks throughout the United States. We just haven't heard a lot about it. Why is that? There's a lot of complacency about the pandemic. There's a lot of distractions. A lot of people are queuing into the crisis in China. That is a crisis. But we got our own problems here. Current vaccines, including the bivalent booster, don't prevent against infection from XBB, but lessen the chances of serious illness. The current medications used to treat COVID are less effective against this variant. The only one we have left that's effective is Paxlovid. So that's our last backup. Medical experts worry that packed crowds like this flocking to see the iconic Rockefeller Center Christmas tree could be the reason XBB spreads even more. With the new restrictions for people traveling from China, the question may come about bringing back stronger preventative measures here. I think what we should do is strongly encourage masking and point out the evidence is incontrovertible that high quality masks like KN95 and 95s reduce the likelihood of getting an infection. People we spoke to have varying opinions on whether more masking should return. I go to concerts, I go to clubs, I go to bars, and it's just not as easy to, you know, live the same kind of normal life with a mask. So I take that risk. I've been basically wearing it in crowds. Uh, I, yeah, I generally wear it all the time. I just every once in a while take it off. Does it trouble you or concern you when you look around and see so many people have, have stopped wearing them all together? I'm not going to force anybody to do anything. Um, I, I, my, my, my personal take on it is that a lot of people haven't experienced what we've experienced with COVID. And Valerie Castro joins us live now. Valerie, you mentioned in your piece there that, that vaccines don't prevent you from getting the XBB COVID variant. Uh, but experts are still saying it's important to get vaccinated, right? Aaron, we should emphasize and re-emphasize that vaccines, that bivalent booster, still does offer some cross-protection even against this variant. But medical experts say the real key is to stay up to date on those boosters, especially for people over the age of 65. Aaron. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.